going to talk about our 10 minute topic. Thank you for joining FASA Boutique 10 Minute Talks. Okay, so what is our topic, you all? So the topic is, if you invite somebody to dinner, are you the one who is supposed to pay, obligated to pay? Hmm, I'll go first. It depends on who you invite. Um, no, not necessarily. Um, and that's, that's all I got to say, I guess. <laughs> okay. And that wraps it up in 10 minutes. No, <laughs> uh, I guess I'll go. Um, yeah, it, 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 it just depends. You know, if I invite my mother to dinner, then I would pay anyway. She's my mom. Um, if I invite my significant other to dinner, I'll, you know, maybe sometimes he pays. Maybe sometimes I pay. Um, I mean, if it is my significant other, then I don't even think that we should really, um, you know. Like your husband or your boyfriend? Uh, well, if it's my, if it's a husband, then it should be both of our money. And it, I mean, at that point, it really wouldn't matter who pays because it's still coming out of our account. Um, but if it's just somebody I'm dating, then hopefully we just have that kind of telekinesis where we know, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Basically. Well, it is April Fool's Day, so you can uh, trick someone. So if you're going to take somebody out to dinner today, you know, like my sweater, because this is actually supposed to go the other way. This is April Fool's Day. See the tag there? But it's April Fool's Day. So on April Fool's, you can do whatever you want. I actually turned my sweater around. Ha ha, April Fool's Day. But anyway, back to the topic. If you are actually going to take someone out to eat, well, if you invite somebody, um, should you be obligated to pay? Uh, some people are going to think you should. Some people are going to actually say, well, you invited me out, so you should pay. And you don't want to be sitting there, you know, looking stupid. So bring some extra cash. I mean, just hope that they go ahead and pay. So to me personally, I feel if you ask them to come out, then uh, make them pay their own way. You know? You <laughs> yeah, let them do a, you know, they pay their bill, I pay my bill. Right. Yeah. <laughs> because some people might try and be slick and try and say, you know what? Since you asked me to come out, let me get that caviar and that shrimp and that steak and that lobster. And you sitting there like, boo, I hope you either go wash some dishes or pay this bill because I'm not about to. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's to sum up everything that y'all said, that's what I said too. That <laughs> it's not necessarily that you have to pay if you invite someone out because if you just want to hang out with your friend or your your boyfriend or husband, then why should you always have to pay? And I guess it would the man would say, why should I always have to pay? But um, I don't necessarily think so. If I want to treat you and I say, hey, look, I'm treating you. I give you that caveat. Then you know I'm not paying. Well, you know I am paying. But if I don't say that, just expect to pay your own way if you're invited. Yeah. Unless it's explicitly stated that someone's going to pay for you and you accept the invite, expect to pay. Um, yeah, exactly. Because I don't, if I invite my female friend out, you know what I mean? She, she could pay for herself. And even if I invite my male friend out, he could pay for himself and I could pay for myself or whatever. I think if you take you know, that offer to come out, you should expect to have some money. I don't think that you should ever go anywhere without money. I think, I think you taught me that probably did, or my mom, whichever one. Uh, me, never go no good it was me. <laughs> never go nowhere without having any money on you. So uh, always have your own money to pay. You know what I mean? I never really expect anybody to pay like that unless it is my significant other or something like that. Um, and like I said, we just have that that vibe going on. You know what I mean? Because you want to be able to say, look, I, I, I can pay my own way. You want to be able to say that any time of the day, anywhere you are. Right. So um, what if you are getting invited to a trip to the uh, Bahamas? Like, you expect me to pay because I'm asking you to go to the Bahamas with me because right. I just want to hang out with you and have fun. Right. 
So yeah, some yeah. people do. I I've been in cases people have said, "Well, you asked me to come out, so you know you should pay." I'm like, "But we were just on the phone, so I didn't mean technically mean that I'm paying for your food, but you know." I, I guess to make it clear, you just tell them, hey, do you want to go out? But the price for this is such and such. You know what I mean? So just to make it clear, tell them the prices. If you do decide to come out, they have this great dish that costs you this much money. And, you know, you, you should pay this this amount of money. You know, can you come take a trip with me to the Bahamas? But your ticket will be such and such. So I guess just make it plain to them. Tell them their actual prices that they will pay. So they know that they're paying. And yeah. have your coins together. Don't go nowhere without any coins. That's crazy. You know? Right. All right. So let's check out the comments. Ron said, um, if you ask, then you pay. And he oh. said, I, I assume we're talking male, female. Um, Marcus said, what's the relationship status? Are we friends, dating, side piece? It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Whichever whichever one. Look, whatever if you relationship. Are, if you happen to be a side piece to someone and they ask you out, the least they can do is pay because you're putting up with being a side piece for one. So first of all, don't be a side piece. Second of all, don't get the, <laughs> the shorter, shorter end of the stick by having to pay come out of your pocket if they're going to be a side piece. Christine said it depends on the relationship. Wanda says, if you ask someone out to dinner, I should be ready to pay. Unless we mm. have discussed how the bill is taken care of. Christine said, you have to make it clear if you are going to pay or they should come prepare. And I, I agree with that, Christine. That's why I said, just make it plain. Um, you know, I want you to come out with me, but you pay for your food and I pay for my food. I think it should just be plain and clear so there is no confusion. Wanda says, now if we are going on a trip, we have to have a clear understanding on who pays. And that is true. So just be, mm -hmm. you know, just communicate. You're going to pay your own way and I pay my own way. But like I said, if it's my significant other, then we should just have that vibe that we know who's going to pay or whatever. But you know um, how they sometimes they get an attitude with you. You know, yeah, that is if true. someone else is paying, it's technically like they're controlling what you can buy. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. You know, they feel if they're paying, then don't get such and such. You you know get I mean? the don't, yeah, you get the with hamburger. So right. if you ladies were confronted with that. If you are on a date, what do you do? I'll pay for myself at that point, And then I will leave. You won't get a that. second date. Right. Oh, I'll leave then and there. I'll order what I want and I'm saying, please may have mine to go. <laughs> mm, okay. Well, that is the best thing to do because why waste time? You know right, what I mean? Right. At that point, why waste time? We let, let's let's make it to go. I'll pay for my I'll, I'll get my food and then um take care of yourself. Exactly. I'm gonna call me a <laughs> lift if I didn't try. Right. Bye bye. Take, take care of yourself. That's and why you should I'm always have your money. You. If you I'm upset what? with you, I said if then if I'm upset with you, when they bring my food, it's gonna taste nasty anyway because you acted nasty. So. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Like you, the appetite, apple side, <laughs> the appetite at that point is ruined. You're not gonna want to sit down and have a conversation or anything like that. So, I guess it is better to get that food to go and uh, take care of yourself. Now, the thing is, I don't mind treating. <laughs> right, friends or boyfriend. <laughs> Yeah, of course, I would treat my husband. Right. So, yeah. But that comes out of um, establishing the relationship of love and fun and trust and all that. And then there's the reciprocation. So right. That comes. Definitely the reciprocation. Right. It's good to be, it's good to give as well as to receive. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's better to give. So, yeah, sometimes it's better to receive. <laughs> That's true. All right. Well, I guess that concludes our 10 minute talk. We'll be right back with you guys next tuesday we enjoy these 10 minute talks with you thank you all for asking questions and chiming in i have yeah, on my easter outfit yes i like that i mean my my good friday i mean what's today thursday mm -hmm. i have my thursday friday outfit on like that, that is lovely could you tell us is that pastel pastel it's the like flower. a pastel yeah okay i pastel, like pastel I mean. <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily say pastel. It's a yeah. little, it's a little darker. Um, yeah, off camera. Yeah, it so, is. Yeah, but, um, but yeah. I did get it from GoBasket.com. 
Could you stand up and model that piece, please, ma'am? Um, it, um, see, it comes with, it's a whole outfit here. So, there you go. You showed us a yeah. little booty. You look lovely. <laughs> Thank you, you. look lovely as always. And you do as and well. And you as well. And well, we thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. Like I said, thank you for chiming in and asking questions and putting input in. We appreciate you guys, and we'll see you guys on Tuesday. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. He is risen. Uh, what else is it? Yes, the Lord is risen. Also is, um, what is it? April Fool's Day. So if you have a sweater, turn it around. Wear it like you want to, like me. Happy, Happy Fool's April Day. April Fool's Day. He is risen. <laughs> Bye.